This is a short video about repairing a 7B53A dual time base plug-in for the 7000 series oscilloscopes. It was probably the most popular time base plug-in that Tektronix produced. This display was produced with two 7B53As in the mainframe, one working and one not. The lower trace is the working unit. The upper trace shows only the top and bottom of the square wave. The dots can be moved with the position control, indicating the problem is not in the plug-in's horizontal output circuit. If the sweep is not running, it should be blanked, so why the dots are showing is a mystery. A complexity of, the de of debugging sweep problems is that the circuitry is arranged in one or more feedback loops. A failure at one point in the loop can cause incorrect voltages or waveforms at other points on the loop, so it's hard to pinpoint the failure. A classic way to debug or analyze an analog circuit with feedback is to break the loop. When this is done, parts of the circuit continue to work, but sweep circuit loops are essentially digital, so when the loop is broken, nothing works. I must admit that my successes in repairing sweep circuits have been largely due to luck, except in a few cases which are documented in an earlier video on the 465B and 468 portables. Tantalum capacitors are a common failure, so these must be ruled out first. The symptoms of tantalum failure are shutdowns of the main power supply, mainframe power supply, or burn series decoupling resistors or inductors. The plug-in did not affect the mainframe power, and a visual inspection revealed no burned resistors or inductors. There are many tantalums in this plug-in, but it took only a few minutes to probe each one with an ohmmeter, and no failures were found. The next thing to check are TechMate ICs. There are three ICs on the sweep board, and all are socketed. Replacing these with known good parts did not cure the problem. Removing and replacing an IC should cure any problem caused by troublesome, the troublesome TI sockets, temporarily at least. After pursuing some other tests with no result, I decided to focus on U520 TechMate IC, a 155-0049, which is the sweep control logic. This IC is used in many other plug-in and portable sweep circuits. Using what one of our volunteers calls the stare and compare technique, I measured all the voltages on U520 on a working unit. This confirmed all the voltages shown on the schematic. I then checked the voltages on the failing unit and found pin 16 hold off start at plus 5 instead of 0. Also pin 10 hold off out was at 0 instead of plus 5. Hold out timing pin 8 was at plus 5 instead of near 0. And sweep disable pin 17 was at plus 4 instead of near 0. Consulting the documentation for the IC, pin 16 is an input and pins 8, 10, and 17 are outputs so pin 16 was most likely pointing to the problem. Fortunately, most of the transistors are socketed, so I could easily test Q538, but found it OK. Q538 is fed by Q564 and Q568, both 151-0220s. Q568 was open. Replacing the Q568 restored the plug into normal operation. Failure of individual transistors is rare, especially when the transistor is not under stress. Looking back, given that all the transistors are socketed, I could have fairly quick to, quickly tested all of them. But again, given the rarity of failure, I decided not to do that.